everyone welcome to the crypto truth where I give you the truth as I see it so we're gonna go ahead and um, I just want to talk to you guys um, I'm not gonna do my usual what I always do I'm gonna do something a little bit different I just want to cover some topics and kind of go over the market with you guys so let's go ahead and get started here uh, right now I'm on coin market cap we have a um, I want you guys to pay attention to this we have almost 10 thousand cryptocurrency projects out there that is insane um, I don't know what we're doing I don't know I don't understand why people can't do their own research but this is getting ugly this is really starting to get really ugly we're gonna talk about um, some things as well we're gonna go over a couple of articles and then obviously and finally I'm gonna go over uh, some uh, hollow chain well I should say more of my hollow chain opinion but let's go ahead the market right now is 9,984 cryptos that's insane that's only that's available in coin market cap um, market cap 1 trillion 800 billion so as many of you guys know we had already taken a dip Bitcoin dominance is at 42.5 percent Ethereum dominance is 18.2 percent so um, that's about that we all know that we crashed it, it's gone up Bitcoin has gone up to 41,000 it looks like it's trying to go back up but um, going a little bit sideways there and then our um, Ethereum is at 2,800 it, it what, what, what was it like 4,000 something and then Binance coin um, that's definitely going to rebound a lot of these are going to rebound Cardano um, $1.77 I believe the 264 two, to something is um, it's high um, XRP polka dot internet uh, computer uh, the new guy on the block uh, or new crypto on the block and um, obviously is new and shiny and um, we're gonna wait and see I gotta have a I have a couple of things I want to say about some of these projects um, but I will talk about those projects later all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. It says U.S. Treasury calls for stricter cryptocurrency rules, IRS reporting for transfers over 10K. So I'm not going to read this entire article um, like I always do. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and read some of the uh, important parts, and then we're going to uh, kind of talk about it here. So President Biden's vision for an empowered, expanded IRS is poised to have a big impact on cryptocurrency trading. According to a new report from the U.S. Treasury Department, the administration wants to put new requirements in place that will make it easier for the government to see how money is moving around, including digital currencies. The report notes that currencies pose a significant detection problem and are used regularly by top earners who wish to evade taxes. Okay, so it says, I want you guys to listen to this. The report notes that cryptocurrencies pose a significant detection problem and are used regularly by top earners who wish to evade taxes. Top earners who wish to evade taxes. You guys know what this means? This means that the government, and I've been trying to tell you guys this before, especially here in the United States of America, our government is trying to take cryptocurrency from us. They're trying to take Bitcoin. They're trying to own it for themselves. Okay? You guys notice they said over ten thousand dollars that's you can you can get you can easily gain over ten thousand dollars in crypto in in this market um so I don't really understand uh, they're trying to have they're trying to um they're trying to crack down on on people with this whole money laundering stuff and everything else in between if someone wants to money money launder or do anything um, uh, or get away 
with certain things. A lot of these rich people, they're getting away with billions and billions and billions of dollars. And you want to get you want to get on a United States of American citizen who does his taxes normally or regularly. And let's just say he wanted to try to evade um, a profit of $10,000. That is nothing compared to the millionaires and billionaires on this planet that are really, truly, really, truly um, money laundering and getting away with taxes and everything else in between. I don't understand. I really don't under, you know what? I do understand, but I'm not going to get into it. This is absolutely ridiculous. It's an embarrassment to our country. And I'm just going to say it. I love my country. And I know some of you guys may think I don't, but I really do. But th this is getting ridiculous. The proposed changes will create new reporting requirements built on the framework of existing 1099-INT forms that taxpayers currently use to report interest earned. Cryptocurrency exchanges and custodians will be required to report more information on gross inflows and outflows of money moving, their, moving through their accounts. Businesses will be required to report cryptocurrency transactions above 10,000 under new reporting requirements. Although cryptocurrency is a small share of current business transactions, such comprehensive reporting is necessary to minimize the incentives and opportunities to shift income out of the new information reporting re regime. The Treasury Department notes that wealthy tax filers are often able to escape paying fair taxes through complex schemes that the IRS currently doesn't have the resources to disrupt. Hello, you haven't had you haven't had the resources to disrupt hardly anybody, any millionaire, billionaire uh, 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 taxes that you guys have been trying to 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 to. Um, I, I don't know what the word is. I guess it says you, you've been trying to disrupt. You guys haven't been, been able, ooh, I almost, I almost said some words. You know what? I'm going to have a huge, I'm going to have a video in which I am going to make it not available for kids because it's getting very, very difficult when I get upset um, to not say words that I probably should not say. Um, but this is absolutely insane. According to the report, IRS collects 99% of taxes due on wages, but that number is estimated to be as low as 45% on non-labor income, a discrepancy that hugely benefits high earners with less visible income sources. The Treasury calls virtual currency, which has some reporting requirements but still operates mostly out of sight in regulatory gray areas, a particular challenge. It's going to continue to be a challenge. Oh, and by the way, you guys, um, I'm not sure if you heard but um the federal government here in the united states of america they're talking about these whole cbdc's uh central bank digital currencies for many of you guys who don't know uh what those are and basically what they're um it's just something it's just a digital form of fiat which means it's, it's pegged to the u.s dollar one-to-one -one, which basically means that it's pretty much a stable coin um, but you can't really call it a state. What well, anyway? I'm not going to get too de in detail. But basically, it's one to one to a dollar. It says these opportunities are particularly available for those in the top end of the income distribution who can avoid taxes through sophisticated uh, strategies such as offshoring, creating complex partnership structures, or moving taxable assets into the in crypto economy. The Treasury report states. Okay, so. I guarantee you, if this goes through, we're going to have so many people who were didn't, who didn't have a lot of money or don't have a lot of money, such as myself, and they're going to have to report, um, I don't know, 20 or 30, you know, a couple of years down the road, 20 or $30,000 that they made on crypto because they were able to save up. Oh, and by the way, the United States government wants a huge piece of the pie. Ladies and gentlemen, I am trying to tell you, and this is why uh, in America, there are a lot of people moving out of America. You guys can look this up. I don't have time to sit up here and look it up for you. People are moving away from large uh, states such as um, California, states such as New York, high taxes, taking away everything you own. And by the way, they're moving to places like Florida. They're moving to places to like Texas. And, and by the way, while they're moving to those places, um, the people who are currently at those states, 
people like myself can't purchase a home because everybody who was making 60 to a hundred thousand dollars on a regular basis up in New York is now able to purchase a home over in Florida you know what that does that leaves people who in the United States of uh, in, in the state of Florida or the state of Texas driven out of their homes because they cannot afford not driven out of their homes but uh, have an inability to purchase any home because there's such an influx of, of people coming from not only those states, but also from foreign countries as well. And on top of that, we have a lot of these people as well. People who are becoming millionaires and billionaires, they're like, you know what? I'm just going to uproot and I'm going to move away. And they're moving to places like Puerto Rico. They're moving to places like Singapore. They're moving all over the place. Why? Because the United States government wants to take all the money that you possibly earn and then um, to, to help them get out of debt for some crazy, um, and I can't call it crazy, but what I'm trying to say is, is that right now our government and the way we are structured in the United States of America is embarrassing. And if many of you guys want to hear my solution, I have a solution. I most definitely have a solution. And I've worked it all the way down, all, all the way down to how we're going to earn money through statistics, through education. You know, you, if you have a solution to a problem, you have to think about many, many um, minor uh, things, minor situations, social issues, economic issues, all of these things. But let me tell you something. This is not going to work. It's not going to make our country or the United States of America country any better. And the only people who are going to get away with all of this stuff are the rich people. The rich people. If you make $100,000 a year, you can see you're, you're not rich. You, you, you have some money, but you're not rich. You're surviving and doing okay, but you're not rich. Then we also have the working poor and the working class and the middle class. And, oh, and by the way, you took the time, you were taxed from the work that you've that you've done, right? So you got the taxes taken out from the work that you've already done. You invest your money into something in which you can um, hopefully prepare a better future for yourself. Oh, and by the way, the government see these as risky assets. But guess what? The moment that you make money from these risky assets, they want to take 20 to 30 percent of it. Are you kidding me? This is an embarrassment. You want to, if you have a country, you want to encourage people to move to your country. You want to encourage those who are working that benefits them. Don't kill the middle class. That's all I got to say. Don't kill the middle class. And our middle class is being destroyed. Our middle class is being destroyed through a number of different things. And yes, I am ranting right now. And yes, I do need to stop. The report details a multi-year effort to bolster IRS enforcement that would bring in as much as $700 billion in tax revenue over the next 10 years. The proposed changes, if implemented, will go into effect in starting in 2023. Oh, God, I hope it does start in 2023. Because by the time 2023 starts, one of these cryptocurrency projects is going to make an impact on the economy in which they are not going to be able to recover from. Just saying. Definitely in 2023. And now you're going to have other problems on your hand. See, the government's always behind. They're always trying to play catch up and they're always screwing everybody because they don't understand things or they're trying to stay in power. Well, I have words. I have words for every country in this whole entire world. And I've been saying this from the very beginning. Many of you guys know I've been saying this. The more you squeeze your people, the more you make it difficult for them to survive, they're going to up and leave. The intelligent people are going to up and leave. 
and then you're going to have to deal with the people who want to stay here only because they are American and they believe in the American culture and American belief and everything else in between. Let me tell you something. The only thing I believe in, I don't care what country you live in. I don't believe in Russia. I don't believe in China. I don't believe in uh, Australia. I don't believe in any other country out there. You know who I believe in? I believe in my, me, Chris. That's who I believe in. I don't care about culture. I don't care about uh, a house and a picket fence. I don't care about your four years, uh, four year schooling that don't teach anything. Your master's degrees and people are getting in debt to go into college, and you can't um, get in debt going to college, and you can't get a job to get out of it. I don't care for these businesses that are inefficiently run. Most businesses, I'm telling you, are inefficiently run. And by the way, they can't. We have a lot of companies and stuff. They say, oh, well, we can't get workers, and we can't get workers. Oh yeah. Well, the labor market can't get workers, but I guarantee you there are thousands of people putting in application forms for businesses that are actually working very well. And you know what happened? You guys remember when um, I read you guys the um, the hollow chain, uh, what is it? The, the uh, hollow, hollow was um, um, of hiring and I was reading um, what what you know what their qualifications were and everything else in between. Did you guys see that? So you want somebody to be able to do all of that? Oh, and by the way, they're not looking for any college people who just graduated or anything else in between. No. And by the way, it's not just hollow. It's not just holo. It's a lot of organizations. You have the it's the rock in the hard place type of thing. You have the education, but you don't have the experience. You have the experience, but you don't have the education. We have to stop doing, uh, making moves so inefficiently. And we need to start taking care of our people. I'm going to get off of this because I'm going into a, a rant in which I cannot recover from. <clears throat> I'm extremely passionate about this because there's so much that I can go over. And so many things, not only that I've learned, but that I've read. Oh, and by the way, people, um, just going to throw this out here out at you uh universal basic income is happening in the united states of america and i know many of you guys are saying it's socialism and everything else in between but capitalism isn't working this is what happens when capitalism doesn't work and then we go into socialism and then um socialism is not going to work and then we're going to try something else and then we're going to maybe try even a mix of the two let me tell you guys something unless we get creative and by the way I have thought about these and I do have solutions to these problems. But unless we find a way to um, to encourage people to work, to provide people who actually work more benefits than the people who are not working, then we're going to be just fine because it's not fair for those people who are working, who are uh, dedicating their time and their energy into things or investing in things only for it to be swiped away right from up under them because, oh, by the way, this will help with taxes. All right, done, 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 done. Next um, article here. Australian minister says government has no issue with crypto investment. Senator Jane Hume also said cryptocurrencies are an asset class that will grow in importance. Now, many of you guys um, who don't know uh, what's been going on with Red Grid, this is really good news for Red Grid. It says Australia considering a blockchain based digital currency. Now, I don't know if that is in CBDC or whether they're looking for an original. Um, original cryptocurrency and Australia Finnish minister says uh, the government has no objection to people investing in crypto assets though she warned of the risk which she's absolutely right there are risks there are risks um, as reported by the UK's Daily Mail Center Jane we take no issue in consumers investing in cryptocurrencies she warned that investors should be aware of the risk saying cryptocurrencies are volatile high risk assets she's absolutely right especially at the moment speaking at the stock brokers and financial advisors association it's a conference in city of thursday human knowledge that crypto assets are unregulated this is true um, but like in uh, like investment in any asset class they are subject to australian law including our market conduct know your client and tax laws it is not a free pass 
Hume further stated that cryptocurrencies are not a fad, adding that they are an asset class that will grow in importance. I, I like how um, people talk about cryptocurrencies and saying, oh, wow, they're volatile and high risk assets. And this is over here in America, too. But let me ask you guys something. Has anybody been at the gas station, spent 100 to $200 that they don't have on, um, on um, uh, what do they call it? I'm, I'm drawing a blank here. On, um, wow. <laughs> Give me a second, you guys. Lottery, right? Oh, so, see, see, it's okay. It's definitely okay if you put money into the system, lose all your money gambling it away. Oh, by the way, in the state of Florida, they just approved more gambling sites. And I believe, um, not I believe, I know that the Hard Rock can now um, play or, or use craps. So if you guys love the game craps, you can go to the Hard Rock here in Florida. It's not an advertisement. I just like the game craps. I really do. But um, every single time I play craps, they don't like it. Why? <laughs> because there are certain things that I do in which, um, yeah, I, I can really, I can really go. I go from fifteen dollars to um, like I went to from fifteen dollars on a cruise ship to one hundred and thirty dollars, and that was that. And they were upset, so they shut down the the. Um, Cause like it was only a couple of us there, but I kept making money because I was just there, and I kept slowly gaining money, and they were a little bit upset. And I'm like, it's not against the rules. There's nothing that says I can't do this, and they're like, this is true. So, um, but at the at the end of the day, see, I always look at solutions to problems, and I try my very best not to um, lose my money. So again, um, when I with these, I could right. I've seen people waste thousands and thousands of dollars. Um, are there risks? Do they have people at the, um, do they have government officials saying, hey, you know what? <laughs> you can't gamble your money away. Look, it is too risky. This game is too risky. But yet, if somebody um, put in a, a thousand dollars into a cryptocurrency and then the cryptocurrency project takes off and then, I don't know, they make eight hundred, nine hundred thousand dollars $900,000. Oh, the government wants your money now. Very interesting, huh? Very interesting. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get off of this. All right, lastly, I just wanna take a look at this. Uh, this person says, here's why Hollow looks hot for the rest of the year. I'm pretty sure that there's been other people who have read this, so I'm not gonna read the whole entire thing. Um, this is at Investor Place 2021, blah, 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 blah. Um, you can you can take a look at this and um, go forward from there. But Hollow has gained significant traction in the past year. As it uh, returned 2000, high is currently trading around 0 0.019 or 19 cents in copper mechanization, blah, blah, blah. So at the time of this, is probably before, uh, what date was this? Yeah, yeah, May 14th. So this was obviously way before. Uh, the crash, excuse me, you guys, I am so sorry. The crash, I'm going to get me plenty of sleep after this. The crash that just hit. Um... It says, okay, understanding Hollow. Hollow's distributed cloud hosting is aimed to bridge the gap between Hollow Chain platform and mainstream M users. Um, the role of a, uh, a, excuse me, I'm skipping things. M users by allowing ordinary web surfers to uh, use peer to peer Hollow, Hollow Chain apps. The role of Airbnb in the leisure space and what company does to hotels could be a good analogy to better appropriate what Hollow does to ho app hosting. Now, obviously, there was a patent approval, and um, they believe that it can um, go up from there. Um, the bottom line on Hot USD: the a Hollow Chain platform does not rely on the global ledger or crypto miners for validation of transactions. As a result, these transactions become more efficient and quicker thanks to Hollow Chain apps. There's no need for an intermediary as the Hollow crypto powers um, the Hollow Chain. It is not surprising that some investors are highly keen on the future of the crypto token. Um, Meanwhile, like other other altcoins in the market, greatly tied to the price of Bitcoin, seasoned crypto followers. So, uh, I want to let you guys know this. Uh, given interest in Hollow Chain, to expect hot to reach new highs before the end of the year. However, the altcoin space is extremely volatile, and Hollow Crypto has proved to be a fast mover. Therefore, it is best not to be to bet the farm on Hollow or any other crypto. On um, does not have either blah, blah blah any position securities in this article. All right, so. 
I wanted to read this article not because there was anything majorly new. I wanted to read this article because I want you guys to understand something. And this is just me personally. I'm getting fatigued. I am personally getting fatigued. I totally, totally, totally understand if a lot of you guys out there, for the people who have been in the crypto for a long time, me and many other people, we're fatigued with Hollow, the organization doesn't mean that it's a project and that it's not going to do well and by the way it doesn't mean I'm doing anything with my um, my hot because I'm not doing anything with it I'm keeping it I still believe in the project as I will always believe in a project until I feel like I need to bail um, and I don't see any reason to bail with this project I don't have a lot invested, like a lot, well, like many, there's a lot of other people who have a whole lot. I have some. But here's the thing, people. This project is honestly, it's taking a long time. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. And when a project takes a long time, and they're trying to do certain things. I understand. I've been saying this for a very long time. I understand. I understand this is new technology. This is something that is changing the landscape. This is something that's going to be amazing. But here's the thing. There has been lack of communication. Sorry. There just has. There's been a lack of communication. You canceled the AMA. Nobody knows exactly why the AMA was canceled. You're still doing interviews. You're still doing other stuff. Nobody understands what's going on. There's still a whole lot of questions about how hot is going to be used. So now that leaves us with having a bunch of theories out there with a lot of other crypto projects. And I know this is a different, very, very different crypto project. And we don't know how it's going to go. But there are so many things that's thrown out there. Some people are saying hot tokens are going to get burned. Some people believe that they're going to get burned after the swap. Some people believe that it's going to stay in the reserve. Some people believe that once it's in the reserve, there's still 177 billion tokens available in the crypto space uh, for the hot token, which that means the hot token is never, ever going to get to $100. And I'm, I'm in agreement with that. If, if, if 177 billion tokens are going to be in there it's never going to get to a hundred dollars at that point um if if their if their goal and we all don't know right we all don't know exactly how they want it to work that's the question and yes a lot of people are talking about investments and different things like that and they're not talking about investors right they're not talking about investors and all we can do is sit here and speculate and i hate speculating because I'm one of those people, you know, you, you guys have, um, I used to be in the religious world um, and there was a whole lot of people, they used to sit there and they used to argue about certain things within the Bible, within different religions and everything else in between. And it's like, this is a never ending story. It's an absolute never ending story and we're not going to find any solutions. So I'm not going to sit here all day and have all of these theories out there. That's why so many people are confused with hot and hollow fuel. And that's why a lot of investors don't want to invest in something that they don't even understand. I take that back. They are investing in hype. Um, and it is what it is. That's what the market is. They're investing in hype. They don't understand what it is, but they're still investing in it. Nobody's going to do that. The only thing that they understand and you would think, oh, wow, hot. Well, you know, Dogecoin has an a, a unlimited um, supply. Yeah, but Dogecoin isn't famous. I mean, uh, hot, the hot token isn't famous. The hot token is um, is uh, hollow chain is extremely uh, doing extremely well and is a, a great project, but it's taking a long time with no communication. Now, it's okay to take a long time if you have communication, if you let people know what's going on. And they have been doing that with the dev updates, and I really appreciate that. And many of us investors really do appreciate that because we want the hot token to um, go forward. But here's what I want to submit to you guys. I say this. 
if your intentions is to make hollow fuel, which hollow fuel will be extremely valuable. There's no question about this. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to tell you guys right now. There is absolutely no question about the direction that hollow fuel is going to go. There is a question about all of the other assets tied to his reserve, including the hot token. Hot token can be used for many, many different ways. We're already seeing that ERC20 tokens are um, going to be used on Cardano or tied into Cardano. There are different things that um, it can be used for. But you know, it's taking a while for these projects to really come into fruition. And for me, I, lo I love to have transparency. So, we have a lot of people, so we are in a perfect storm here. We have a lot of people in the crypto space that does not want to do their own research, that does not want to think about how, um, about how things will be. I'm scrolling down to, uh, there it is. about how things are going to go. So um, obviously we have our hot here. The total supply is 177, the circulating supply is 172.67, right? It's a lot of tokens. I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. And they know this, by the way, they know this. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna find out exactly um, we're gonna find out exactly what's going on in the future and this has been a short period of time as you guys can see um, from January to May look at this it's been up it's been down um, on news and then also being tied to hot token being tied to Bitcoin but pretty soon when hollow fuel comes out it's not gonna be tied to anything but um uh its hosting ability and i do believe that the hot that hollow fuel um uh, will have a better use case overall sorry about that a better use case overall to the world than the hot token so i don't know what's going on i don't know we can all sit here and speculate i've heard many 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 different and i've even put out my own theories but now I'm exhausted, so I'm not going to put out any of my theories until I hear from AMAs. Until I hear from an AMA and someone asks the question, because someone will, and I will try to ask the question of exactly what's going on. So it is what it is. And so many of you, if you ask me any question dealing with where um, the hot token is going and where Hall of Fuel is going, I'm just going to answer you very honestly. As far as hot token, hell if I know. As far as hollow fuel, after the swap. We'll see how things go. After things start moving, after they're in beta, after every after all of that, we'll just have to wait and see. So yeah. Alright, you guys, I'm gonna stop it right here. Um I can go on forever. I can really go on forever when it comes to this whole taxes thing, um, what our governments are doing. I'm going to let you guys know right now so you can not be frustrated with me because some of you guys are probably already frustrated with me and have, probably haven't even made it through this video. I'm not a Democrat, nor am I a Republican. I am a human being that actually has answers to problems in which these high educated people either don't want to solve or can't solve. And that my friends is the truth. All right, go ahead and close it right there. You guys have a wonderful day. Please, please, please um, do your own research, do your own research, do your own research. As you guys know, I am, I am. A little bit upset a little bit fatigued as well with everything that's been going on um, I still believe that hot is the um, the best um, technological project out there um, do I believe that whole organization is well run and organized 
not as I'm not with the lack of communication at least not for me I don't really care about like this price doesn't mean anything to me the only thing that the only thing the only thing that the only thing that means the most to me is exactly how hot it's going to be used how hollow fuel is going to use and what's going to happen after the supply after the um after the uh, swap and what I should do as it not now here's the thing what should if someone asks the holo team what shall I do as an investor as an investor they don't care they don't care so for everybody who purchased hot um, in order to um, to support the organization and for help them raise funds and different things like that as far as I'm concerned and from what I see they don't care or they don't know and I think they've stated as much before they they don't know what's exactly going to happen with the hot token after the swap there's a lot of different questions and I mean major questions because some people are like oh man hollow fuel is gonna take over the world blah 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 and everything else in between and I do believe that eventually but a lot of people are gonna kinda get screwed over if their exchange is not in there you guys got to understand the the hollow hot the hot token is the hot token hollow fuel um the ho hollow chain is going to be throughout the world so they're going to be and you guys see how it is right now with these governments and these cryptocurrency um uh, uh projects and exchanges and stuff like that you guys see where it's at All right, I need to go. Um, you guys take it easy again. I always say I need to go and then I end up ranting. I'm not going to rant anymore. I'm totally, totally done. Um, please do your own research, do your own research, do your own research. And last but not least, out of all the crazy things out there, people, it's getting really, really insane out there in the world. Above all else, stay safe out there. Bye, you guys.